us now. Now the ACC Network and ESPN, formerly the head coach of Georgia and Miami. He's kind of college football royalty, so we're honored to have Mark Rick join the program now. Mark, how are you, man? Thanks for the time. I'm doing great. We've just been working all day getting ready for this launch uh, tomorrow night, and uh, we're excited about launching the ACC Network. How are you enjoying this new space? I mean, you've been um, you know, such a, a indissoluble part of college football on the playing side back in the day and the coaching side for so long. How are you enjoying what you're doing now? I really enjoy it. I love who I'm working with, uh, E.J. Manuel, Eric McLean, and uh, Jack Collinsworth are on the huddle, is what we're called. Uh, our show's called, and uh, they're good. They're good dudes, you know. They uh, don't. No, none of us take each other, you know, too serious or take ourselves too seriously. And uh, I just think there's a good chemistry so far. So I'm used to being a part of the team, and I enjoy being part of this one. What are the similarities between being a a part of a team on the media side and being whether it's a player or a coach on the on the playing and coaching well, side? Well, I think the biggest thing is if, you know, everybody succeeds if we all work together. You know, the, our best chance of success is if the show has success, if the network has success. So, you know, we're, we're working towards uh, wanting to do our best for the team. And if, if things go well, then everybody's going to get blessed. So I think there's a, a big similarity in that way. Yeah, I mean, I know you haven't been out of it that long, but do you already miss coaching? A lot of coaches that get out of the game and go into media, they, they kind of suddenly have that itch, Mark, once again. Do you have that itch yet? Uh, I don't have that itch yet. I, I do see this as a career change more than a, uh, you know, retirement from coaching and, and you know, maybe come back and all, like, maybe unretire. You know, I, I would say never say never on the possibility of that, but I truly would love for this to become – a new career, and uh, I like the pace of life right now. It's kind of weird, but uh, I don't mind being able to sleep in here every once in a while. Fair enough. Yeah, it's definitely um, – there are a lot of advantages to this – to being on this side of the mic as opposed to being the guy that's being interviewed. Um, Mark, let's talk about – since it's the ACC Network, let's talk about Clemson for the first time in program history. They're the number one team in the AP Top, top 25. Just how good is Dabo's club this year? Well, everybody's going to talk about their offense because there are a lot of great players coming back. They've got their quarterback. They've got their running back. They've got their wide receiver. The leaders in all those categories, they're all coming back. That hasn't happened since Alabama, I think, in 2010. Uh, but they got some good defensive players, too. Isaiah Simmons is a great linebacker, about 6'1", 235 pounds, was a, was a safety now, a Sam linebacker type, nickel linebacker. Uh, kind of the hybrid between a safety and, a, and an outside linebacker. Uh, he's a special player, too. But, you know, Dabo's got him going. Uh, it's going to be very hard to slow down the train, in my opinion, of anybody in the ACC. But, you know what, uh, they they went undefeated one year. It was last year. They, they've gotten beat by Pitt. They've gotten beat by Syracuse. Uh, you know, obviously in years past they've gotten beat by Florida State. So um, it's going to be interesting to see if they can run the table or not. But, um you know, obviously, there's a reason why they're number one in the nation. Mark Richt is our guest. He's now with the ACC Network and ESPN, of course, um, very well known as the head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs and the Miami Hur Hurricane, Hurricane, excuse me. Mark, selfish question. My producer is a proud Syracuse alum. They're in the top 25 this year. What do you think about that club? Great. No, I like them a lot. I, I think the biggest thing is, is, you know, Dino Babers. The guy has got the ability connect to connect with his players but not be their best friend, so to speak. He can relate, but he's still the boss, and he's a guy they respect, and he's got them believing. You know, th there's no fear factor when Syracuse plays Clemson, and I'm not sure that's true of all the other teams in the league. And just to get over that is very important. So he's got them going. Uh, I know Dunsey was a great quarterback, you know, phenomenal leader and tough, you know, son of a gun, but – uh I think they're going to be really good for a long time. And, uh, you know, props to Coach Babers. Mark, as you know, I look out my window in the studio here. Studio here, I can see the University of Utah campus. We're a mile away from Rice-Eccles Stadium where Utah plays. And a lot of people really like the Utes this year, 14 in the AP Top 25 poll. A lot of people think they can win the Pac-12. Two-part question, what do you think of Kyle Whittingham's club this year and your overall view of the Pac-12? 
Well, Coach Whittingham is a perfect example of a team taking on the personality of the head coach. Very uh, tough, no-nonsense guy. Uh, they're a real physical bunch of players. Uh, very disciplined. I mean, you could tell uh, they, they feed off this guy. And uh, just very impressed with what they're doing. I, I don't think there's any reason why they can't win the league. Um, they're, they're a heck of a team. I think they get great support. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Mark, last thing that will set you loose, can anybody crash Clemson, Bama? And if that team uh, is able to do so, who do you think that would be? Right. Well, there's some teams, uh, you know, if Florida or I'd say Florida or Georgia out of the East, somebody's going to be playing Bama. Uh, if it is Bama, I mean, LSU might could do something on the West to keep Bama from getting there. But, if, you know, it could be. Georgia versus LSU in the SEC championship game. Uh, so I think there's more chances of it, of Bama not being there than Clemson being there. But, uh, you know, there's a good chance they'll be in that top four. Both of those teams will, you know, have a good chance of being in that top four. And from there, who knows? Well, look, it's that time of year. We're all really excited. Congratulations on the new gig. We'll miss you on the sidelines, but look forward to your work. And let's chat again soon, okay? Thanks, Mark. Be well. Great. Thank you. Mark Rick. 